Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you do become a part of my beautiful family by hitting the subscribe button and also the notifications bell so you're aware when I post new videos. In this video, we're gonna be making one of my Bob Evans favorite. This is gonna be a remake of their border scramble. It consists of sausage, you got some Mexican flavors going on, which is gonna be some salsa, some Monterey Jack cheese, all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. All right, everybody, welcome back. We are doing a border scramble. So I'm gonna start with three eggs. I was supposed to pour this in another, I was supposed to pour this in another, uh, let's make sure the shell's getting there. We'll cut this in here first. So this is something that I had at Bob Evans. It's like one of my favorite things to get when I go there. I don't know if Bob Evans is everywhere. So I'm gonna pour this into this bowl and I'm gonna mix it up. There's three eggs. As you can see, can you see that actually? Mm -hmm. Got three eggs in there. That's it. Pour a little bit of milk in my mixture. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some, can you see me actually? I sure can. <laughs> I sure can. <laughs> you ever had a board scramble before? Yes, I love breakfast. Yeah, you do. But I, so I always you make I always make it. I didn't know it was called border, but I always make it. Okay, this is uh -huh. like it doesn't have like the peppers and onions and stuff and ham like a Western omelet does. It just has. Um, so we're using Monterey Jack cheese in the middle. You want to do? I mean, everybody knew what these look like, but. I just put some pepper in here and some milk. I'm on my breakfast kit. We have potatoes, now we're making eggs. All right. I love breakfast all together. Any breakfast I love. Breakfast is delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Since I already had my eggs, I'm gonna cut a little bit of, um, before I put this on, I'm gonna cut a little bit of onion for um, the topping. The topping is, um, it is cheese, onions, not a lot of onion, but onion, you have some sausage, and then you have that mixed into, um, their sauce is like a red sauce, which I don't know what it is, but it tastes a lot like salsa. So I'm gonna make mine with salsa because it tastes a lot like the sauce, but you need some onions in there. So I'm gonna just, just not a lot of onion. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of, bit of onion that I can fry out with, um, put into the sauce. So that's what I'm doing. So this is like a little sliver. Don't want to stand back here so my eyes don't start burning. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> you gotta be tougher than that. My eyes are really burning. So I'm trying to cut these fine so they won't be so they, they won't be burning. You get any closer. Get any closer, their eyes are gonna be burning. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut these up fine. I'm trying to cut them as fine as I possibly can because I don't want them really thick. So that's as, that's as, as fine as they're going to get. Okay. So I'm just going to set those there. I'm going to go ahead and put my sausage on. So I have two pieces of sausage. Actually, get this. Okay. Two pieces of sausage that I'm going to just fry up because we're going to finally chop this up. This is going to go on our topping. So I'm going to finally, I'm going to fry this up. I'm going to spray the pan with some um, olive oil. I got the wrong one on, the wrong owl on. This is the owl, should be on the second one. So I just got a little saucepan. I'm gonna spray and put the sausage on while we cook our, our omelet. So let that cook. Fry those up really good and move on to the omelet. So I'm gonna use some butter. So I should've left this one. All right, so the sausage is already cooking down and I got the butter about melted the way we want it to be. And Asha, I'm good with the temperature? Yes. As far as the um, yeah. omelet goes? That's fine. 
All right, so the butter, so if you look, look at the pan, the butter's already melted down and starting to sizzle, so should I start mm -hmm. now putting the egg in? Mm -hmm. And then also for the sausage, the sausage is already brown. Now this is Jimmy Dean um, turkey sausage I'm using, and um, they are, they cook really fast, so I don't really need these. I'll leave them a little bit longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the egg. I'm scared that this isn't hot enough, this egg. No, it is hot. I mean, the uh, pan for the egg. Yeah, it's definitely hot. I'll turn that sausage pan down. It's gonna get smoked oh. out in here. All right, so I'm gonna pour the egg in now. Okay, the sausage is already basically done. So I'm gonna turn that off. I already did turn it off, so I'm gonna set this to side and let the wait for this egg to cook up. Mm-hmm. That butter works miracle. Yeah, because sometimes it breaks up on me and then I have to like push it back into an omelet form after. So I can't get that right down. Turn it down a little bit. Anyway. Like me down. Okay, this be like this fire be like hot. Mm -hmm. If you don't turn it down. Is that flip it out? Okay. You can probably try to pull some of that liquid off the top one more. I think I need to flip it because you know that it's going to fall apart. I, I, I'm scared it's going to fall apart. <laughs> it looks like it is. It's not. Hold on, hold on. Just wait then. Wait a little longer then. Because it ain't going to see how the bottom Oh, the bottom's perfect. Mm -hmm. She's the master at this, not me. Not the flipping fork. There you go. Oh, there it is. All right, so now that we flipped it, the egg is in, it's perfect. But I like mine a little bit like that, so it's all good. So I'm gonna take some of my Mexican cheese. Cool. Take some of my Mexican cheese. I'm just gonna cook the inside of this, and then I'm gonna flip. Just gonna flip this over. Just like that. I'm gonna turn the fire off. Put some cheese on top. I'm gonna plate this now. Look our that looks really omelet. good. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and put a, just a little bit of onion in here. You need a lot because you only got one one omelet. You need a lot of uh, onions. So I'm gonna let these fry. I got this on like low, but like a low medium heat. I'm gonna let those fry up, and I'm move on to cutting up the sausage. So I can add those into that. So he's cutting up the sausage now. Yep, these are Jimmy Dean sausage. They come in like a red pack. It's turkey sausage or? Yeah, it's turkey. Okay. Let me clarify that. I don't eat regular sausage. I eat turkey sausage, turkey bacon. So I'm gonna cut these up really fine without trying to cut my fingers off. Y'all know how that goes. It's really hard to cut them up. That's why I don't use no big knives when I be cutting, because I don't be trying to cut no fingers or limbs yeah. off. Some big old butcher knives. I don't need that. I just use this regular knife uh -huh. to cut everything up. It's universal. This is a steak knife, salad knife, fruit <laughs> knife, onion knife, peppers, anything right. I need. I use the same knives, small ones. All right, you can hear that I ain't even cooking, so that's probably almost. That smells good. They should be soft now. And look at our omelet; the cheese melted on top of there. Oh yeah, it looks good. All right, so this is. I mean, I probably could have put these in like a processor or something, like a food processor. Mm -hmm. Somebody has a food processor. That's the best bet, because this is like. I mean, it didn't take right. that long, but. All right, so moving on to the stove. 
All right, so we're gonna put these in there with the onion. It smells good. It does. I'm gonna get this off this app where it burns. All right, mix that up in here. I'm gonna add a little bit more spray in there to look a little bit dry. Mix that up with that. All right, so I'm going to add in probably about three tablespoons of salsa, maybe four. This is just regular George salsa. You guys can do everything you want. Oh, the baby. baby's kicking. Every time he smells food, mm -hmm. he's starting he's to kick. <laughs> I don't know if he's hungry. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go for one more because I want mine a little saucy. But that was three. That might be sound like four. I lost count. You just did. <laughs> Thank you for keeping it real. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna cut some green onions up to go on the top. All right, so I'm moving on to putting the or mixture here on the top of the omelet. You can add more cheese on top if you want to before putting this on, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixture over top. You got sausage, you got onions, you got tomatoes, you got all that good stuff on this omelet. I'm gonna take some sour cream. I'll put a little sour cream on the middle of there. That's like stuck on the spoon. Don't want to leave. Put some chives on top. That looks good. Yeah, got some chives. So that's how you make a Bob Evans border scramble omelet. Uh, remake at home. Save yourself some money. Ooh. Ghost Stillers. Ghost Stillers. I hope they went today. Get a, get a close up on the station. Mm -hmm. look at, oh, look at that cheese. Oh my God. Oh, that's where we get it. Look at that cheese. Ooh. So, this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoy it. Try to make it. I'm sure you'll love it. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. Hit the notifications bell. And I'll catch you next video.